What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Auto 3 Garage. If you're tuning in, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I really appreciate it if you want more uh, content. But right now, I'm finna do a review on this beautiful Mercedes uh, E320 uh, 2001. Uh, so I just gotta get to um, a certain location, one of my favorite locations. And we just go from there. But as you can see, riding out and yeah, this car is dirty too i gotta clean it up really good so let's get to it So guys, as you can see, this is my Mercedes-Benz uh, E320. Uh, the year of it is a 01. It does come with a sports package, as you can see by the sports badge. This is like one of my favorite daily drivers. I love driving this car. It's so much fun, and I love the styling of it. Um, I'm going to tell you how I got it, but with the sports package... As you can see with the sports badge, it just came with a 16 inch uh, five spoke alloy wheels, which I have changed up as you can see with these nice and new wheels that I had uh, got from car ID. Also, it came with some uh, sportier uh, side skirts and also inside it came with uh, leather seats that got like little uh, bolster to it. And uh, what else you had the Xeon headlights but I changed uh, to these, which I really love. As you can see, it looks more modern uh, compared to the other one. It was like all dull and stuff before. Um, what else you get with the trim package? I think that's pretty much it. You just It just gives the car a more athletic uh, look. Uh, you also get lowered suspension, which if you haven't seen, I had uh, lowered it just about like an inch or two uh, with some H&R uh, lowering springs. I'm thinking about getting some uh, coilovers uh, to drop it just a little bit more. I mean, it's low. Uh, I know when I was telling people I wanted to drop it, they said that thing already low. But, you know, it wasn't low to my preference. You know, it still had like a little gap and stuff. But this car changed a lot. It really did. But man, just look at it. Look, it's a beautiful car. It really is. So, guy, what's under this engine is the V6, uh, 3.2 liter, about 255, uh, 273 uh, foot pound of torque under here. I know uh, with the 4320, you get a 4.3 liter uh, with a V8, and then uh, with the E55, you get a 5.3 uh, V8 which is more girthy and stuff. But uh, this is a reliable uh, car, it really is. Uh, this is a real good engine. Uh, I get uh, good fuel economy, uh, 20 city, 28 highway. So it ain't bad, combines 21 uh, MPG. The only thing I did was just add a K and N uh, filter uh, to this and do it the other type of uh, air box or whatever. Um, but got plenty of space in here, we really do. Uh, I need to change this belt sometime, sometime. But other than that, it's pretty good, clean and everything. Got our washer fluid right here. Um, I don't know all the other stuff. I know it's like the fuse boxes and little stuff like that. Um, Right here, we can watch the headlights. Um, 
doing the oil change and everything on here is really simple. It's not really hard. Everything is like accessible. So if I need to change anything, I could. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what's under here. You need to be clean too. I mean, when I first bought it, it just had a whole bunch of pallet leads and stuff under here. That's it underneath. I ain't had no issues out of it yet. One of my favorites on this car, especially outside, is this uh, wiper blade. Just like one motion instead of uh, having two wiper blades, which is pretty damn cool. So I don't have my exhaust. It like comes down. It was kind of really ugly, but my exhaust is kind of like up front. But um, before I end up like mocking up like a new exhaust system, uh, I'm getting a hitch for this car. So I'm going to put a hitch on here because I'm going to start towing. And I want to see if I want to go like um, like with a dual setup or something like that. I want to put like have a set of two on this side and then a set of two on that side. Or maybe just just a set of two uh, just off uh, one side. Um, I want to think about that. Um, and see how we go. Um, I know once I do it, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. It already sounds good, but it's gonna be like sounding way better. I do have like a little drone and stuff, but it's not bad. But it's eight drones and stuff, kind of bad. For gas, we only take premium, ninety one, ninety three, whatever. And I gotta clean this. Like this car is filthy right now, so I gotta clean it. As you can see, real filthy. I added this spoiler on here. It looks pretty clean. They also got a rear window spoiler um, that you could place over top. I'm thinking about getting that. Um, added this roof rack to here. And what else? And I painted this trim right here to a black to give it like a second uh, two-tone color, you know? which looked pretty dope, came out good, still still holding up like it's supposed to. And then with the wheels, like I said, if you ain't watched a recent video, go watch the recent video of me uh, replacing my springs and stuff and adding like new brakes and all that. Anyway, I got like some slotted rotors uh, and brakes and then I added the wheels on that and then I got the springs and then like I said, I'm gonna have to get some coilovers probably so I can like drop it a little bit. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the outside of the car. Um, It's just, you know, simple, not too crazy. Um, It just, it really look good at all angles. Not gonna lie. So you may be wondering, how did I get this car? I had purchased this car from my girlfriend's daddy for like three grand. And every time I would come over, I would just be looking at the car. It would just sit and it wasn't uh, making use of it. And so it was just sitting there. So I decided to make an offer and uh, to purchase the car. So that's what I did. Uh, the car looked way different before I did my own little touches to it, which is which I am not done. Uh, just a little bit, but I'm not done with it. Um, but man, I was just really uh stoked with the purchase and stuff. I was really happy, and then when I got it, man, my mom was falling in love with my car and stuff. Like she was wanting to drive it everywhere and stuff. And I tell you, this car drives so good. It's like you driving on a cloud and stuff. That's how good it is, and it's very nimble and everything. It really is. But as you can see, some cars always have downfalls. Um, I seen like in blogs and stuff with the cheap paint that um they used. I don't know what type of paint, but I know it was pretty cheap. As you can see, you got a little rust on there. It didn't the paint really didn't held too good? But I guess if you like in New York or something like that, man, I know cars be all rusted up because that salt and stuff. But down here is not pretty bad. You can see a little bit. 
but it's not bad. This this will be corrected. Um, it will be. But overall, this car is pretty good. If you, I guess I feel like if you keep your car washed up and stuff, uh, you be straight. But as you can see, I ain't doing that. Wheels all dirty. Everything, everything dirty. You can kind of see a little glare, but it's still dirty. <laughs> So guys, we are in the inside. So as you can see, we got about 136,000 miles on this car. If you convert it from uh, 220, 459 kilometers, we get about three, uh, if it can focus about, yeah. And yeah, you get it just, but anyway, uh, I love this gauge cluster. Um, I will show you like other functions on it uh, in a bit. Uh, I love the steering wheel. I really do. Uh, we could change our functions uh, on that little uh, display screen on a odometer. Uh, we could turn up the volume. We can hang up, but these features don't work. Um, I like the door. I really do. Uh, this is where all your memory seats at. You can adjust your head, uh, the lower area, and then you can slide the seat back and forth. We got a glove department box right here, which you can keep locked so nobody can't get in. And then right here, we can wash our headlights right here we could uh knock these three headrests down uh right there uh, we got our hazard lights and then also we can uh, unlock and uh, lock and also with this feature if uh you could turn it off if your car get towed and stuff it won't make no uh, noise or anything like that and then we just got our basic uh hvac little stuff i do got to get the ac replaced uh because the damn compressor had one now i was trying to put freon in it but uh it wouldn't uh take it or whatever this is where we control our windows uh right here there and this is where we can uh take this down uh the visor we uh, bring it up or down and then we can turn our uh traction on or off and then we can pop our trunk from there we can change our mirrors adjust it right there as you can see i got a missing piece i gotta get that same with this side, we got where we can control our lights, pull out for the fall lights, etc. Um, memory seats, like I said, this is where you can like adjust the steering wheel. It's like uh, you can telescope it, you can bring it in, out, and all that, which is a pretty cool feature. And uh, here we got the boss uh, sound system in here. Um, but I gotta get the stuff uh correct and stuff uh, it was working great um but how you have to like hook up uh at the market st uh, stereo system is kind of like what the freak because you have like this little uh device you can't really see but i'll probably explain it later down uh the road uh, which you will see um we got the leather seats which are pretty damn good i love it um, I'm probably gonna change up this like wood paneling to something else, but it's uh pretty dope. Like I said, I like the styling in here. It's just simple. It's really simple. Some simple. Uh, this is a comfortable ride. And everything. I tell you that. Uh, same with the back. Just little basic function, functions. Um, cup holders. Real simple, man. And I got changed this uh window. Um frame piece because the other one the cable had broke so i got to change the motor from the old one to the new one so we can put in this door so we can have this window going up and down so i can put the panel and everything back on uh that's just pretty much it for this car i mean it's it's simple it's really simple it's nothing too crazy and all that so guys as you know when you have a car uh you know age will um have a toll on it wear and tear will happen as you can see, it's just small little cosmetic stuff. Uh, I need to get this figured out right here because as you can see, it's pushed in before it was up in this right position like this. Also, this is where you can uh, adjust the mirrors. I need to get the little knob piece for that. And I'm going to change this uh, to like a little better knob piece to like uh, the Mercedes with a Mercedes logo on. Uh, we also got a roof liner issue, as you can see roof liner is bad same with the visor i tell you man see i love showing stuff like this i love showing love showing bad stuff like this 
which makes the car great but look <laughs> look man look at my car man look at it. so this roof liner oh man it been like this when i first got it and stuff so i just i just never had the time like to mess with it like that you know so some little things you just let slide by uh sunroof i don't think it does just tilt that's the only thing it does. I'm not too crazy over the sunroof, but when it's down, it only come halfway out. And the only way to fix that problem is uh, replacing like the whole uh, tray piece, which I have seen on how to do. It's not complicated. You just got to take all this stuff off. Same with the visors. We got to do a little couple stuff with it. You know, as you can see. Uh, what else? I need to get a trim for this uh, radio, but. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Probably fix little stuff like this. Like, this car is not even bad. Like, this car is, like, really new. It's just got a few little cosmetic stuff that need to be, like, uh, looked at. That's all. And I can't forget about the AC compressor because, like I said, it kept going in and out. And when I was trying to put Freon in it, it won't even, like, uh, take it. So, I'm going to have to just replace that little joint right there. Uh, I don't think there's anything i dislike about this car i love everything the only pet peeve i have is with that damn bat light right there every time i lock the doors close the doors that light stays on and the order to turn that light off i have to literally open up the back door and push that button and the lights just come off so i think that's pretty much it though like overall this car is comfortable to drive is quick is everything i mean I love this car, man. I, I really do. I appreciate this car. Um, I drive it nearly about every damn where, as you can see sometimes. But, man, yeah. It's the inside of the joint. It looks so sick. It's got to be clean. And I love these seats, man. I love these seats. But the inside looks so clean. Just look at it, y'all. It's got to be cleaned up. We got a little dirt on the mats. And I got to uh, push that back in. I like you don't want to hold sometimes, but just looking at it, it's, this car looks pretty damn good inside and out. Same in the back, it looked good inside and out. I'll tell you, this car pretty damn clean. As you can see, I gotta um, replace. Uh, what man? That's pretty much it. Yeah. So as you can see. I got the old door piece right here. And this was the old one. I got changed the motor over. I had ordered the wrong part. <laughs> but this goes on the other side. So this would be useful if the other side go down. I can uh, just use this. Um, as you can see, I got a door panel. But this the trunk. The trunk got some pretty good damn space. I ain't going to lie. And this was the old radio right here. As I told you, it's pretty cool. And I think this is where you put damn cassettes or some shit like that. Yeah, it's like a cassette player uh, type thing. It's pretty damn cool. I had clean this car up, y'all, as you can see. I really do. But no, nah, the truck. I mean, I said truck. The trunk got big space. I had uh, changed these lights uh, to some better ones. The other ones was just so, um, yeah, old and stuff. I had them black one time. I'm thinking about tinting them black. But I might just leave it like this uh, to be more retro. But, shoot, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully, I ain't forgetting that. Uh, this is my Mercedes, though. I mean, it's something simple and everything. It's nothing too crazy, you know? It's simple. Something simple. And I did change the uh, LED lights inside. Um, I want to change these lights down here to where the Mercedes logo will show. But, man, that's pretty much it. Let me see them wheels and brakes and the rotors. Yeah, clean. All right. And I tell y'all, this steering feels so freaking nimble and stuff. It really does. I'm gonna roll my windows down. Yeah, it 
crackles. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's peppy though, I ain't gonna lie. Ain't like the Tahoe though. You know that Tahoe got that V8 and stuff. So after I did like some little modification, the car still drives the same, still has the same driving uh, characteristics. Well guys, as you can see, uh, just got home. Um, That was it for the uh, Mercedes uh, E320. Stay tuned for uh, more uh, to come. Uh, like I said, I gotta put a hitch on, got a hitch coming in. Uh, also got to do that window majig thingy back there. So I got to do a replacement on there and just little small cosmetic stuff on this Mercedes. Like I said, this Mercedes is fairly brand new and stuff. There's nothing wrong with this car. It's very reliable. Ain't really had no issues with anything thus far. Um, even though we got 130 miles, 130,000 miles on here, 130 something thousand miles on here. Oh man. This car's still riding great. Um, stuff start to show. I mean, it's an old one. So, like I said, I love things like this. Uh, we're going to get it fixed. Um, that's what makes, you know, me uh, able to enjoy a car. Because you you able to put your hands on it and everything and stuff. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. I had to get a new battery for my uh, Tahoe, as you can see. I had to get a new battery for my Tahoe. Uh, apparently the battery had got drained. I've been letting it sit for like a week and the battery already got drained and stuff. So I got need, I need to check the grounds. I need to check little stuff like that. Uh, I need to clean up the Porsche. I, and I need to clean up this car. So I guess whenever I get some time, I end up cleaning them. Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, the Porsche, I'm thinking about like, um, taking it apart, like taking the front bumper off, little stuff like that. So stay tuned. Uh, for little uh, things like that um and if you stay if you stay long enough for this video man make sure to subscribe and like man i really appreciate it i know it's kind of talking here and there but you know i'm just showing my cars and stuff so hey appreciate it thank y'all peace out have a safe day and let's go